and I'm here at Young Eddie Peck with Colonel Al Warden, of course, astronaut extraordinaire. I figure once an astronaut, always an astronaut. I, you, guess, I guess that's probably you true. You really yeah. can't lose that title. So um, you've just been here talking to the Young Eddie Peck gathering and just fascinating, fascinating discussion on your life. Just quickly bring us up to date, maybe what have you been up to since you came back to, to ground? Okay, well, um, after I made your flight, I, I transferred to a management job in NASA, then I retired. I've retired now four times. Uh, I came out of retirement to teach at a college. Uh, I formed a little company and invented some aviation products, which we sold to a large company. And that large company then asked me to come and run the company that was the subdivision that was going to do that. I did that until I retired again. Uh, once I retired the third time, uh, I started writing books and I do a lot of charity work. As a matter of fact, uh, I, I do charity work in Europe as well as I do in the U.S. Um, I have been with and uh, chairman of the Astronaut Scholarship Foundation for seven, well, I was chairman for seven years, but I've been a foundation member for about 20. Uh, and we give out about uh, $450,000 in scholarships every year. So that's the thing, you know, picking the students and then I go out and give, and, and I go out and give the scholarships away too. So I do a lot of that and I come on business like here to Adipec, which is uh, the thing I like to do because I really like to talk about STEM. I'm a product of a STEM education, and, and, I, and I like to let people know that the sky's the limit if you got the right education. And, uh, you know, you can go from being a small farm kid uh, in Michigan to going to the moon if, you're, if your educational background is right, and, and it's all up to you. And indeed, when you look at a program like Young Eddie Peck here, a program that perhaps wasn't around in your day, how valuable do you think is a young a program like Young Eddie Peck, exposing the students, um, exposing the students to the industry, and really bringing them together? I mean, it's 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 a gift to them, really, isn't well, it? I think I, I I think it's a total package. Uh, I see these students being excited and getting into the STEM educational areas, but I also see. The leadership in this country establishing the goals, being very concerned that the children, their students, their kids get the right kind of education because they understand that the future of the human race is, is with those kids. And so I think it's a two-way street. I, I, I love the fact that the leadership in this country uh, is so interested in seeing these students get a good education because they understand the future and I think they understand what I think they understand the future almost better than anybody I've met. Uh, and, and the students are picking up on that and they're doing a great job. So I think it's wonderful. And again, when you've talked, you've been here a few days and I've seen all the students, they want to get selfies with you. Of course, you've been to the moon. That's, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool accolade to have. Um, do, you, do you welcome the youth energy here? Are you excited and enthused by the energy you see, particularly from the younger kids here? Oh, I'd have to say I am a little impressed with that. As a matter of fact, I'm so impressed I'll be back. Uh, I intend to come back to the UAE whether I'm working in air show or not. Uh, I think there are lots of opportunities. I think there's some things I can do here. Uh, I've only talked to four schools. There are a lot more schools to talk to. Uh, I think there are a lot of things to do and maybe I can help. Maybe I, that, that's my hope that I can be of help. And again, a word to the wise for some of these young students when you think as they go out there, what do they really need to be doing to make sure that yes, they avail of the education that's out there, but also in terms of discipline, applying themselves, all of that. And again, maybe that passion too, to do what they want to do. Well, I think uh, two things. One is they really need to do what they love. They need to study the things that they love because they'll do a lot better. And then the second thing is they got to work really hard and absolutely don't let anything sidetrack them or, or or stop what they're doing. They've just got to press on ahead and get the job done. And I think you're going to be fine. Now tell me, you've been here at Adipec for a few days and we heard you at the Petroleum Club and it's great to see you here. What do you think about Adipec? What's the buzz that you've got walking around here talking to people? Uh, I think this is uh, such an important thing to the world. Uh, we're still running on petroleum. Uh, I think uh, what I'm seeing here is that I'm, he I'm hearing a lot of words about uh, how do we efficiently handle all these natural resources so that they last as long as possible. Um, the fact that the UAE is in the center of the world, basically, and can draw from both east and west, we're halfway there. Uh, I think this is a 
perfectly positioned place, and I see that all over Adipec. And again, just the energy at Adipec, at the stands, um, people you're talking to, and a gathering like this, CEOs, government, um, inspiring leaders, astronauts, thinkers like yourself, the fact that they've really pulled together a diverse group of people to come here. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm finding people from all over. In fact, I found people from my, from my hometown and from Houston and, 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 and everywhere. I mean, this is an absolutely amazing multinational uh, event uh, where you find somebody from every country in the world. And I, where else could it happen but here in the United Arab Emirates?